Now, see the next topic that is speed of a traveling wave. So, we have to find here the speed of the wave. Now, see in this one, I have shown a transverse wave by here the solid line, line and at t is equal to 0, this is the wave here, which is starting from origin O. And its equation can be given, y displacement at any time of the particle can be given, y x t is equal to a sin omega t minus k x. Now, after time delta t, suppose the wave travels this much distance, the wave is here. So, after time delta t, the wave is shown by dotted line. So, there is a displacement of suppose delta x. Now, see here when this wave travels in this direction, the point A is on the string here. So, the point A on the string do not retain its position, but the point A on the waveform it retains its position. So, it is only possible if this quantity remains constant that means the phase is that is omega t minus k x is constant. Then only the particle or the point on the string do not retain its position, whereas the point on the waveform retain its position. This is possible if this phi is equal to omega t minus k x is constant. To keep the constant c a, if x increases, you have to increase t also. That means, if the time is increasing, you have to increase also x. By this way, we can keep it constant. If you differentiate it with respect to the time, you will be getting d upon d t omega t minus k x is equal to here that is here 0 and you will be getting omega minus k d x upon d t is equal to 0. So, we can write in this case here omega is equal to minus k d x. So, we can write here equal to k into v that is a you know angular wave number it is here 2 pi upon lambda into v and so we can write here also w is equal to this omega is equal to 2 pi nu so we can write here 2 pi nu is equal to 2 pi upon lambda into v cancel here so we can get here v is equal to nu lambda, where nu is called frequency. So, v is the velocity of the wave and where is here nu is the frequency. So, this is the relation between velocity, frequency and wavelength. Now, say speed of transverse waves on a stretched string. Suppose you have taken this end is here where the string is fixed here and one end is free and the wave is produced here that is by moving single up and down suppose like this and the wave is traveling in this way. So, see here the wave of the sorry speed of the transverse wave on a stretch string depends on the two factors. One is the tension in the string and another one is mass per unit length, mass per unit length. So, tension is represented by T and mass per unit length is represented by small m. So, the speed uh, just we can calculate this one by using dimensional analysis and we will be getting V is equal to that means the speed of the transverse wave on a stretched string is equal to under root of T upon m which can be proved here dimensionally.